in the past, I've, uh, I've developed a, a fire sprinkler program that basically allowed a user to go in. They would, they would draw from point A to point B, and it would label it in a certain way, and there were certain uh, ramifications to how that got labeled and, and how exactly the cut length was derived. Um, and as I was developing this program and, and marketing it, at that point I was kind of developing on my own, um, I timed this, the sequence of steps that it would take to do all of the things that they were doing, and it was essentially a five-minute process um, that by the time my program got done with it, they were picking point A, point B, and all the rest of it was done. And so it took from a five-minute process down to less than 10 seconds. And so, you know, there's a pretty easy calculation you can do there to see, you know, how much time that's saving. And, uh, and uh, you know, over the years, I've, I've had many instances where I've looked at those processes, timed how long it takes to do that sequence of steps, and, you know, and then time how long it takes after you, after you write a, a program or customize that somehow so that it's automated. Um, you know, and in almost every case, you know, you're seeing huge improvements. I mean, if it's not more than 50, or, you know, if it's less than 50%, it's a surprise. I mean, it's usually a 90% reduction in the time it takes to, to do that task.